Just like a pallet, we land shit down. My man bitch and then I shocked the whole town. Alright, so basically I'm doing a reaction of Darman. Y'all already know what time it is when I got the Darman going. You feel me? It do it then. Basically, this the I'm gonna I'm read the caption. Girl finds out long distance boyfriend is blind. How you gonna find out that he blind after the fact? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh. Mm. He cooking while being blind. Looks like someone needs to go back to culinary school. <laughs> this is called a flambe. Thank you very much. All the real chefs do it when they cook. Um. Know about that remind me to order takeout when i get there uh excuse me willow you would not be ordering takeout on our first date especially when your boyfriend is a whole chef okay okay i suppose i'll let you cook <laughs> you know i can't believe we're finally meeting in person tomorrow ernie what i tell you about playing soccer in the kitchen while i'm cooking Slow down, Sonic. Is that Willow? Hi, Willow. Hi, Ernie. <laughs> Bye, Ernie. <laughs> Little brothers. So, have you made a decision about uh, grad school yet? Uh, my dad is set on me going to Whitman. Only problem is, it's all the way on the other side of the country. Oh, is it his decision where you go? Clearly, you haven't met my dad. He acts like everything is his decision. Whitman's his alma mater. He agreed to a pay for- It is his decision. You letting it be. For half my tuition, if I decide to go there. Which, I don't understand why he doesn't pay for all of it. He has the money. He's just a stickler about me making my own way. Well, whatever you decide, I'll support you. I'll save up some money and come see you. Or I can look for chef jobs at Syracuse. Me and Ernie will move out that way. I'll take care of the bills, and you can just focus on school. What? You really do all of that for me? Move cross country and pay all of my bills? I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. My mom. No. Use a cornball. Don't do this shit. Nigga, this is why the world fucked up Neil, bro. Ain't no way you're gonna move with your whole kid. Not just you. Now I can see if it was just you. You just on some play shit. You bringing your kid in, tricking. It hit different. Before she your kid don't want to switch schools. He already got friends and shit. She, she used to say this famous quote to me when I was growing up. Hope tight to the people who stand by you in your lowest moments. They're the ones who truly love you. And since I truly love you, I'm going to stick by you no matter what. Through thick and thin. I love you so much, Jamal. Want to see another cooking trip? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Willow! Uh, sorry. I got to go, babe. All good. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you so much. I love you too. Ugh, I'm so excited to spend the weekend with you. Okay, bye, babe. So, where are you staying again? For the 10th time, Dad, I'm staying at Jamal's apartment. He doesn't own a house? And regardless, you shouldn't be staying at some random guy's apartment. Jamal isn't some random guy, okay? We've been talking for over a year, and he's honestly wonderful. You were dating over the phone and in person? Two different things. What does this Jamal do for work in? Right. Anyway. He just graduated from culinary school. Okay, he's gonna be a chef and open up his own restaurant. Now, is this interrogation over? Yeah, well, do you know 80% of restaurants close within five years? It's a risky business. You need stability. Okay, Keith, you need to relax. Just because some restaurants fail doesn't mean that Jamal will. You really gotta stop thinking so negatively. Well, what does his parents do? It says a lot about his future. Well, um, 
He never met his dad, and his mom died when he was 18. It's only him and his younger brother now that he takes care of, which I think is so sweet. Now, please, no more questions, okay? Oh, thank God we're here. Well, have fun, kiddo. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing time with your mom. <laughs> I love you, Auntie. Oh, love you, too. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. I'll see you when I get back. Thanks. Look, she didn't say thanks, Dad. He was supposed to pick me up from the airport. Why does it smell like smoke? Jamal. Jamal. Yes, it's me. I'm so sorry I couldn't pick you up. Hey, are you kidding? You do not have to apologize. I'm just I'm just glad you're okay. What, what happened? When we were on the phone, Ernie poured Brandy into the skillet. I went to turn the heat back up and... Well... I'm so sorry. If you weren't on the phone with me, you would have been... What? No. no. Don't blame yourself. This is not your fault, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I... Didn't know you had company. I'll come back later. No, this is fine. This is my girlfriend, Willow. Well, Jamal, I'm afraid it's not looking too good. The anterior chambers of your eyes were completely destroyed as a result of your eyelids and your ocular surfaces being severely burned. So, so what does that mean? It means there's a good chance that Jamal might never see again. <gasps> I'm going to give you two some time to process this. I'll be back later to discuss. Jamal, Jamal, I, I'm so sorry. I, I don't even know what to say. Miss Overload, I know this is a lot. And I know you didn't sign up for this. So if you're gonna leave... I am not leaving you. I'm here to stay. And I will be here with you on every step of this journey, okay? Bullshit. Females do not wanna... I wonder if... I st what's crazy is my heart is so big. No matter how I got did in every single situation I got. I will never leave a motherfucker at their lowest, bro. A motherfucking could call me right now, and they damn bad, and they they know they can call me type shit. They know they can, and that's I, I hate my heart. That's crazy. A motherfucker know they can call Kimon if they just in the middle of a situation or just feel like life is over. Let me call Kimon. I love you. Ooh, I'll say my real name. Sure, cap. What could possibly be funny? I guess you're right. We're gonna have to order it. Take out after all. Huh? <laughs> Jamal. Jamal. <laughs> Come this way. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you're good. So just keep walking straight. Um. All right. Keep going. We're gonna walk to the couch over there. Okay. So keep going, and then the couch is right. Underneath you, okay? Here we go. Okay. Ready? Oh. Good, good. Thanks, babe. Of course, of course. Okay. Good. Sorry. It's okay. That's okay. Um. Uh, are there any paper towels? Shoot, we may be out. Oh, 
Uh, uh, maybe a towel? I think they're all in the hamper. Sorry, one sec, okay? Hey, Willow, what's going on? We haven't heard from you. Uh, I, I just been, I just been real busy. Everything's fine, Dad. Okay. Well, where's Jamal? I want to talk to him. Oh, um, now is not a good time. Look, can I call you back? You're acting off. Have you checked in for your flight tomorrow yet? Actually, Dad, I, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. I think I want to stay a few more days. Jamal is dealing with some health issues, and I I just want to help him out. That ticket is non-refundable, Willow. Plus, you need to come home and finish everything for grad school. But look, this is important. Can you, can you please just book me a new flight? If you want a new flight, have Jamal book it for you. Uh. <sighs> Rude as fuck. Oh, man, I'm sorry, Willow. I was I was just trying to find a remote. No, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll clean this up. You, you stay put since there's class over here now. Uh, here, have a seat. Have a seat. Oh. And the remote's right here. See right there? Jamal, I'm hungry. Oh, um. Uh, let me uh, clean up this glass first, and then I'll, I'll make you something, okay, Ernie? Actually, maybe I shouldn't use the stove right now. Um, I'll, I'll order you some food, okay? Can you find a snack? Okay. Willow, um, I'm so sorry, but I really need to use the bathroom. Can you? Uh, yeah, of course, babe. Come on. Uh, it's okay. I'll, I'll clean it up. <laughs> that little boy gonna have to learn how to do stuff himself, first of all, and he's gonna have to play the role that you're doing. He's the reason why all this happened. Going somewhere? Oh, I was gonna say goodbye, but I just, I have to go. I wasn't able to extend my flight. Oh man, I was hoping you'd stay for a few more days. I know I wanted to, but honestly, I don't have enough money to buy another plane ticket. Hmm. <laughs> I can't believe that you're cooking. Yeah. I figured I might as well start practicing. I'm not giving up on my dream that easily. I made pancakes. They may be a little burnt, but hopefully they're at least edible. I'm sure that they're great. And I would love one. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> OK. OK, I'm going to lift it. There you go. You can place it. Yeah. I'm, I'm shocked that you were able to make these. <laughs> well? Uh, it's great. It, it's great. It's great. Yummy. <sighs> Look. I know we promise to always be honest with each other. They could use some work and maybe a little less salt. Salt? Here, here give it a try.
Oh, jeez. Oh, I must have put salt in the batter instead of cinnamon. Uh, I'm so sorry, man. I mean... No. Listen, the fact that you're even trying is so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Look, uh, I had to catch my flight. Are you going to be okay without me? Yeah, yeah, don't worry about me. Just call me when you land, okay? Okay, I will. I love you so much. I love you too. It's I hope that we can see each other. Oh. Um, I'll call you later. <laughs> she can't even say, oh, we can see each other because. She just said, I hope I can see you again. <sighs> she did it on bourbon. I thought you were going to leave her. I changed my mind. Oh hell no. That's where I knew she fucked up. What are you thinking? What is she thinking right now, y'all? Staying. I can never be lonely. If you put your hand in mine, I can never be lonely. If you walk with me this time. I can never be lonely If you promise you won't leave I'll never be lonely Lonely I've waited for so long But what if it goes Oh, <laughs> he's still just so Shaving is so cringy to me. Am I the only person that think like that? That this shit kind of cringy? I can never be Cause who the fuck likes hair bumps? Oh my god! I don't shave because I don't like hair bumps, and I don't want to ever have none. I mean, I just seen some nasty stuff in my life, and then everybody be like, "Cause this, I got shaved, and I shaved. I already just trim my shit hella hard forever or something. I don't even really trim my shit like that." No, no, I can do a little thumb on me though. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the clearance beard. Look at me, I'm trying to get that full beard going. Catch me in a couple years though. When I turn 30, I might have a good one. Yeah, it is more than a couple years though. So y'all won't be thinking I'm 29. 
Got a job. Stop the cat. Let's go. I know you did. <sighs> Love don't pay the bills. Want me to help you change? Hey, you doing okay? I just really thought I was gonna get this one. Now I don't know how I'm gonna pay our bills. Well, your first disability check should be coming in soon, right? That's barely enough to cover rent. I think I need to just start looking for a work from home job, like a customer service telephone operator uh, or- No! Don't you give up, Jamal. You can't. This is your dream. Okay, all you've ever talked about is being a chef. I know. But it's time to start being realistic, Willow. Well, um, I, I could get a job and support us. You know, just to give you more time. What the fuck? Like, I need a girlfriend like this. Put your whole life on the line for me then. Wait, you... You can answer that, you know? It's my daddy. He's just gonna stress me out. I mean, if he keeps calling you this much, maybe it's important. I'm scared to answer it. I know what he's gonna say. Okay, Willow? You haven't touched your food. I've got just the thing to cheer you up. I was gonna wait to tell you this until after you submitted your paperwork, but I'm gonna tell you now. What's this? I decided I'm going to pay all your tuition for grad school so you don't have to get a job. I know you've gone through a lot these past few weeks. Mm. So he already been planning it, and it's so happened you fell in love and you want to throw everything away. He's like, bro, come on. But I'm glad you came to your senses and left that situation. There's no future for you and Jamal. So I I'm proud of you. We're still together. I didn't leave voluntarily. You put a lot of pressure on me, Dad. It was a good thing I did. What was the alternative? Stay with a blind? Sorry. Are you crying? It'll be all right, babe. Don't be sad. We'll figure it out, okay? I just feel guilty for leaving you and Ernie. And if I go to grad school, I'll be even further away. Well, yeah, but distance has never stopped us before, right? 
Thanks, babe. I'll call you after I finish my acceptance stuff, okay? I love you. And I love you so much. Bye. All right, bye. you holding up, sweetheart? The mama look like a real genuine ass mama too. Darman even find perfect acting. Jamal's my person. I've honestly never felt the way that I do about anyone the way I feel about him. Sykes topped the cap because I felt the same way about 50 different females. And the worst part is when I told him I was going to grad school and still love all y'all genuinely paying my own way you know what he said what that he'd come to Syracuse and get a job and pay my bills so I don't have to work <laughs> can you believe that he was willing to uproot his entire life with his little brother for me and now that he's going through his hard times I feel like I've abandoned him at his lowest moment. Oh, honey. Listen. And that's how females do you. It, sometimes it ain't even their fault. God just wants you to go harder for yourself as a man. So you can be stronger. You don't need to be around no female that's going to want you to be laid up. Comfortable. You should never want to be comfortable. I'm uncomfortable right now doing these interviews. You have to be uncomfortable. You can't be comfortable all that laying down, chilling, watching uh, the ovals and Tyler Perry shows and shit. Do you Come think on. that if the situation were reversed, that Jamal would do the same for you? He would. He would. Mom, what are you doing? I'm helping you pack. But you need to be gone before Dad wakes up. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Willow's not here. Have you seen her? I know where she is, Keith. She's with Jamal. What? How do you know? Because I helped her get there. That's how. You helped her? She's throwing her life away with this guy, Justine. What kind of future does she have with him? He's blind. What can he offer her? Nothing, because he has nothing. And what did you have when we first started dating Keith? Nothing. He worked as a low-level assistant. Can you imagine if I had listened to someone who told me to leave you? Where would we be right now? Jamal's a good guy, and he didn't ask for any of this. And they love one another, sweetheart. And we just need to accept that. Well, I can't. Then accept <gasps> losing your daughter. She's made her choice. <laughs> I'm back and I'm not going anywhere this time, Jamal. I'm not leaving you or Ernie. Willow, I, I can't have you throw away your future. 
You should listen to your dad. I, I can't even get a job. <laughs> but I already thought about this. And I realized that just because you can't get a job at a restaurant doesn't mean that you can't be a chef. We can just open up our own restaurant. Babe, I barely have enough money to pay for rent. Uh, I, I don't mean a real restaurant. It can be a virtual one. As in like Uber Eats or Postmates? Exactly. And Jamal can cook and I can manage the business. And I can help create content. Who wouldn't want to support a black chef? So? What do you say? Can we give it a try? My mom also gave me a little money so we can get started. Blind date. How's that for a name for the restaurant? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Let's see if I can do this. You know that sound? Another order. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I can't believe how many are coming in. We're gonna have to hire another driver. Maybe so. I'll get it. Look, Dad, uh, just, just hear me out. Before you get mad, I... You must be Jamal. I'm Willow's dad. And I just wanted to say that I'm proud of you, son. I've seen some of your videos online, and it's quite impressive that you didn't give up on your dream. Thanks. But to be honest, it, it was all Willow's idea. She's the business mastermind behind all of this. So you're not upset at me? You know, actually, I came to apologize. Your mom reminded me of how I had nothing, and she stuck with me and helped me to get where I am now. You know, it's really admirable that... Damn, nobody sticks with Shurcat, sure bro. Now I'm sad. Don't have me cry. I wish I was in a relationship. I'm so, like... A good hearted person, and they all know this too. Why do I get left? When all I do is care so much, but I die trying to love like Kilo G, so I know I can't. Everything in life is made it to where I know I ain't supposed to be in love. I gotta get famous. You chose to stick with your mom because someone who sticks with you at your lowest is someone who truly loves you. Mm. <laughs> I still wish you went to grad school, but, you know. Well, that's what I was going to say. I did decide to go to Whitman. I enrolled in their online classes instead. But I didn't help you with your tuition. How did you get the money? Well, I guess you could say that our little business is doing pretty well. Yep, we have been moving to our own house next week. Well, I'm really proud of you guys. Well, how about we celebrate over dinner? Oh, yeah, sure. I actually know a couple restaurants nearby. Restaurants? I'm thinking that Jamal should be cooking something. Mm -hmm. I've read the reviews. I got to try his food. OK. Right. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah. Look at the little boy. You, I don't even know why you even still there, bro. You're the reason why he's blind. Get this guy out of here. Get the little guy out of here, <laughs> bro. Get him out of here. But like, comment, share, subscribe, bro. What's going on, Dorian?